Hello everybody and welcome to the Film Review Central channel with me Kieran Goodins. I hope that you're all well. Here to talk about film and TV and make the conversation sound a little bit more interesting. Keep changing the background, um, life's just crazy at the moment um, with you know, personal stuff but always trying to get the reviews out for you guys regardless of what's happening right here in the backdrop and this review sort of begins the summer movie season. Um, you know, we're working for every week now, we're going to be having blockbuster after blockbuster and uh, if you guys missed it, I did a summer 2024 movies live stream with one of my favourite people, Zach Milne from Zach Milne Talks Movies and this one was the opening movie that we had to chat about and it's right here and it came out this last weekend so here is the review for the full guy. Here we go. So going into the movie, I've seen the trailer a bunch of times in the cinema, um, adverts as well. It's been, you know, well over social media in terms of, um, you know, I wanted to really watch the movie just like, finally, it's finally here. You know, I've seen this trailer countless times. Um, and I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, but it, I think when it keeps getting brought up, you just know exactly, it's kind of drilled into you. Um, but obviously, Emily Blunt and Ryan Gosling, they did a little sort of comedic thing uh, in the last year's Oscars because of the Barbenheimer rivalry. Um, and it was just so happens, obviously, they had a movie coming out, so it was quite good to see them together and their like, comedic relationship, see their couple of months in advance. Uh, this movie is based off of a show um, by the same name so I, I think a lot of people potentially seeing that name kind of went oh okay that's that's it's still an existing product that, that has some sort of fan base even though it, nothing's really been done on the big screen before uh, Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt are, are two fantastic actors and uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson as well joining in the mix as, as well he's high profile right now uh, in terms of you know, getting loads of different opportunities in many different genres of film and you know so for me you know there was some definitely intriguing that and it's an action movie like i love action movies the director david leach did one of my favorite modern action movies in bullet train a couple of years ago i love that movie and father he was you know directed to this i was really looking forward to seeing that I really liked Bullet Train. I wasn't the biggest fan of this movie. And that's why we're going to get into today, talk about the positives and negatives, and the general conversation about the movie. And for me, it had a lot of subgenres, it had a lot of themes, it had a lot of ideas. And I can confidently tell you that there's a strong example of when they took a subgenre and did it well. I can confidently say that in every single subgenre. But it also had seven or eight problems in a two-hour movie within them subgenres as well and that's what really brings it down uh, firstly i think ryan goslin you know he's he has that gap and he's got that bridge between being really comedic and then being you know, in these sorts of very serious you know dark roles so he he there's not really much in between and this one really pushes that comedic sense once again uh, he's playing a, st uh, a stuntman um, which a lot of people were linking it to drive and, and i've seen that movie they did a review uh, for my first ever fan choice movie review and I love that movie but everyone was making comparison and oh he's making, doing the stuntman again yeah this is totally different this is you know opposite ends of the spectrum in terms of you know comedic timing and he was okay I mean there wasn't a lot of moments where I found it com completely funny or what he did um, I, I do think that there was nothing wrong with the casting choice because I think if you'd gone for a an actor that has not done much comedic performances, I think it would have been even more difficult to sort of get behind. Um, I don't think it was, like I said, I don't think it was particularly funny, but Ryan Gosling wasn't bad. Uh, but I think there was the slapstick comedy and, and the romance, I think he did quite well. I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with that. I don't think he did a, a necessarily an awful job. It just wasn't that type of comedic fun that you potentially would want and you were kind of expecting to get. Um, Emily Blunt plays uh, his love interest and is also a director in the uh, of this makeup movie that they're doing. Um, not the director of the actual movie. She's directing a movie within a movie. And um, that was a really 
interesting one because the first 15 to 20 minutes of the movie I was really getting tired of just had a general character development where she was going from and I think the movie process within you know the movie was so wrong and so aware away from general sort of you know film sets and um, so the fact that there was that, that sense of awkwardness where she was trying to do something that she knows is wrong and, and it was just a little bit messy in that sense um again do you could she have been recast potentially but I, I don't necessarily think that what she did throughout the movie was was anything massively wrong but when you've got to your two main actors, top of their game, you know, some incredible roles, particularly obviously last year with Oppenheimer and Barbie, you really do think to yourself, okay, bring them that together, bring that star power, and just to walk out and they went, okay, it, it doesn't fill you with much confidence when you're sort of trying to review the movie in your head like I'm doing now. Um, Aaron Taylor Johnson was like sleepwalking throughout the whole thing. Um, I think I've seen, you know, the, the natural chemistry that he had in, in, in Bullet Train uh, with Brian Tyree Henry really made that character but the fact that he was on his own at this point I think it, again it wasn't particularly funny um, the movie at all and I just think he just felt like he was he wasn't in the movie a lot as well so you know I did feel very much like the um, yeah his role was not particularly the greatest I just think again it, it's coming out to really average performances for me um, the action was it got better. Like I said, that first 15, 20 minutes, the pacing of it was so slow. The repetition of jokes was, was not funny. Um, they were making like constant links and connections to other movies, which, you know, it it wasn't very subtle. I would have preferred it to be a lot more subtle than it actually was. Um, I think the stunt stuff was, was great, but I think... You know, and it definitely paid an homage and a celebration to that, particularly at the beginning, uh, the first scene in the movie. But uh, I, I think it, they just did everything a bit average and a very half-heartedly. Um, as I said with the action, it got better. Um, you felt like there was a lot more stakes. The set pieces were better. So I do think it, it definitely pushed the limit in terms of pacing and, and how long the film was. But I think it, it gradually got to the point where you think, okay, this is not as bad, but then you then go back to quite cringy and embarrassing moments. So I think it, in, a, in a great way to summarise it, it was very messy and it was very average. And when you've got you know some really great talent in there, being describing one of their movies as average, it makes it disappointing. And um, I just wanted to switch off, watch some, watch some great action. But when you're not getting in that, you're thinking, what, what, what does this movie hold? What does it possess? And I'm... For me, it possessed something that I wasn't particularly impressed with. So, out of 10, I give The Fall Guy a 5 out of 10. So that is it for the review of The Fall Guy. Let me know what you think about the movie in the comment section below. Fill that comment section with your awesome opinion. I cannot wait to get your opinion on the channel. Uh, like and subscribe. Hope you've been enjoying the last, um, you know, couple of videos and live streams it's been a pleasure making all of them so i'm really looking forward to seeing where the channel goes in the future thank you very much for watching and i hope to make the conversation about film and tv sound a little bit more interesting see you in a bit uh -huh.